a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles were being questioned by the high priest before the council. But a Pharisee in the council, named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up and ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time. Then he said to the members of the council, Fellow Israelites, consider carefully what you propose to do to these men. For some time ago, Theudas rose up, claiming to be somebody, and a number of men, about 400, joined him, but he was killed, and all who followed him were dispersed and disappeared. After him, Judas the Galilean rose up at the time of the census and got people to follow him. He also perished, and all who followed him were scattered. So in the present case, I tell you, keep away from these men and let them alone. Because if this plan or this undertaking is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. In that case, you may even be found fighting against God. They were convinced by him, and when they called in the apostles, they had them flogged. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and let them go. As they left the council, the apostles rejoiced that they were considered worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And every day in the temple and at home, they did not cease to teach and proclaim Jesus as the Messiah. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The response is, one thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek, to, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord that I will seek to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the sign that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not be enough to buy the bread for each of them to, to get food. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter, brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place. So they sit down, about five thousand in all. 
Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments of leftover, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley lumps left by those who eat, by those who had eat the third twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus speaking 5,000 people. This Gospel from John, we can also hear in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John taking a little bit different approach. First, Jesus curing sick people, they follow him. They see in him great prophet. They have very high expectation. But Jesus seeing these people and asking Philip a question. Look, so many people. From where we can get food? We have to feed them because they are hungry. Philip was the one from the beginning joined the Jesus group. Philip thinking as a human. Look, Lord, we that six months of wages is needed to feed these people, and they just get little. How often we are thinking the same way. We are thinking in human way, not a God way, not a Jesus way. And John pointing that there was some green grass in this gospel. And we also can link this to Psalm 22. Where we, the Lord, as our shepherd, we shall not want, we shall be fed. And green pasture, he makes me lie down. The strict connection that the Lord provide for the people. And he took this breads, few breads, and few fish and distribute to the people. And everybody was satisfied. He multiplied the bread so people can be satisfied in the human way. And other gospel, when he multiplied bread, he gave to disciples. Go and take this bread to the people. And here is a very strong connection with the Eucharist. That we have this heavenly bread, the body and blood of Christ, who feed us, and we always can receive it in the spiritual way as well in the Holy Communion. In our time, we are not able to come to the church to receive Holy Communion. We are hungry. And as the parish community in parish, we receive so many messages that people thirst for Mass. People thirst for Holy Communion. And that is a good sign that we realize in this time that we need God, we need his body and blood to fill us in a spiritual way. But on the other hand, 
we have to realize that Holy Communion, what we receive, bring us privileges and bring us obligation to respect and to share the good news with the others. Because Holy Communion is the bread for life. And this time, when we are in separate ways staying home, let us unite it in the sacrament of the Eucharist. Yet let us unite it in our time in Sunday Mass in 11 o'clock by the computers, websites. Because in this way, we can share in the spiritual way among ourselves through presence in the same table. 